What's up Team KBA, One Take Traveler here in Seoul, South Korea. Now today we're going to check out a few everyday carry from Grams28. What caught my attention was using technical fabrics with a very contemporary design, all wrapped in a beautiful Italian full grain leather. The Grams28 gear we're going to check out today are the 126 Passport Wallet, the 133 Essential Case Max, and the 159 Folio Pro, ranging from their small, medium, and large everyday carry, we've also got a few of their accessories, namely the 123 wrist strap. And it wouldn't be complete if I didn't gear load it with all of my stuff. Now, if you like what you see in today's video featuring Grams 28 gear, or you want to explore the rest of their range, then you can support the channel by using the links down below. You can also read more of my thoughts on Grams 28 gear on my website. So check it out at onetechtraveler.com. Let's get started. Each one of these come in a protective soft touch bag. Grams 28 branding. And here's the Folio Pro. The tannery they use is Grupo Mastrotto in Arzignano, Italy. Full grain pebbled Italian leather. It's got a very slim profile, but there's quite a few storage that you'll find in the 159. The leather handles, they kind of wrap and fold in. So when it sits in your hand, it sits flat. Nice rivet details where it stitches into the fabric. Again, that's all in leather too. And also look at the zip track. Very minimal, flush and reversed. We've got two external pockets. One on the back. The front, which serves as an admin panel. Three open sleeves, two clipping points. One on the front left hand side. It's kind of like a D-ring and on the back side, so you can use it as an external attachment, but it's mainly for the included shoulder strap we'll get our hands on in a moment. Very bright access. It's a nice color, mocha brown, that gives it a contemporary but very executive look and pairs well with that pebbled texture of the exterior. The divider for a laptop up to 15 inches, also nicely padded too. A detailed breakdown of those numbered markings I mentioned at the front. We have two mid-size pockets, one here and here. And we have two pen loops, little drop holes that are more vertical for flatter, taller type of gear. And you can see how minimal it looks. Not busy, nice and clean, great for minimalist or just simple essential setups to take with you. And further down on this pen loop, we have another little hole and this is for your tracking tags like an air tag. This is the included 25 millimeter padded strap with metal hardware and it is a gated type. Grams 28 logo on the shoulder strap. Considering this is more of an essential minimal type of briefcase setup, then you don't want to be putting very bulky items in here. And then we have a slimline bottom that just gives you a little bit more storage to play with when everything is packed together. The front admin is great for all of those easy reachables, but also those thicker items like chargers. Uh, and since it kind of pulls away from the main body, then it's not going to compress with everything else, which is nice. And the rear, while there's no like tablet sleeve, you can put A4 documents and even an iPad and iPad mini. The zippers have some drag. It feels really nice and smooth, especially at the corners. And it's also reversed in with a nice seal. So this does look like it's water resistant to stop water getting caught in. But of course you do want to keep your leather protected. So you don't want to be rocking this out in mixed weather or in light showers. Sling it over your shoulders. You can adjust the length. You can also go cross body. Or of course you can detach it and just go traditional briefcase mode feel really soft and cushioned in the hand. So I find I'll probably use the briefcase mode a lot more, but it's really nice to have the option for the shoulder straps, 
but I like that they are detachable. So if you have your own type of shoulder straps or you want to upgrade with say Grams 28's buckled strap, which looks really slick, then you can do that. So that is the 159 Folio Pro briefcase. We're gonna bring this back later on when I gear load it with some of my own equipment. So now that leads me on to the 133 Essential Case Max. Comes in the same soft touch protective bag, which is really cool for storing it away and keeping that leather in good condition. And this is the Essential Case Max. The Essential Series comes in three different sizes for the moment. This is the largest one, and it's one of two Everyday Carry focused on more camera setups. They recently released the 172 Camera Sling, which is a full body type of bag. We just get the top lever handle, which sits more towards the front panel. It's fairly flushed against the body, but because it's wide enough, it's pretty easy for you to grab and handle. The back, we've got two attachment points, the D-rings for the included shoulder strap or the 123 wrist strap if you want to have it as like a, a nice carry-on with a tether. And we also have a smaller grab handle on the left side that you see here. And here's another look at the top handle. It's a lot thicker, a lot wider. And then of course we have the zippers, same as the 159 Folio Pro. It's also weather sealed, reversed look. This time on the zippers, we also have a pull tab of that same full grain pebbled leather. The zippers sit more towards the rear and that's because it gives us extra full space inside for the camera. You can see we've got the same like mocha brown internal liner that just gives it a very premium and contemporary look. I love that combination. Doesn't open as wide as the 159 Folio Pro, but it's also because we've got this top cover for the handle that gives a bit more privacy. We've got two camera dividers you can pull out. Nicely padded, Velcro on either side. This entire wall of the front means you can really mold this to the lenses, the camera bodies, or just a variety of gear you want to put in here and separate it. Towards the back, we have a pen loop for an Apple pencil, a stylus of your choice, or even just a normal traditional mechanical pen. Two mesh-like sleeves that are pretty stretchy. Divider nicely structured, very sturdy, really nice premium lining feel. This side, we have a zipper on that divider enough with three open slots. The included shoulder strap is the similar to the 159 Folio. It will untwist itself since they work independently. You can have it really close up pressed against your body. Because it's quite deep, it will stand out as a front cross body, but you can have it slung towards the back or underneath your arm. You can also have it rocking in front of you. Since it's more towards the top, then it's going to lean down when you have weight. But if you want to sling it here to open it out, then it provides a nice accordion view. You don't have to worry about things dropping out because the raised panel at the top kind of stops it from doing so. But it's very bright and easy to look into. So I love the design, how it's all laid out. Very high quality, nice and rugged. Could honestly make this as like a creator minimal setup. Just all of your essentials to travel with, work with, shoot with. And you'll also be glad to know this is self-standing. So even without anything, remove the clips. You can just have this sitting on your table. That is the Essential Case Max. The 126 Passport Wallet comes in a smaller type of soft bag, but it's, again, it's really nice that they include it. We've got Grams 28 
on the bottom now and it's just a drawstring opening like the rest of them this has a smoother full grain leather so not pebbled got it in a midnight can also get it in a black and a variety of colors grams 28 are slowly coming out with the stitching also very clean nice craftsmanship again the same italian full grain leather and in terms of the markings 126, which is the Passport Wallet model. 0901, this is from Mastrotto. And 039 is made in Italy. What's interesting about the 126 Passport Wallet is they kind of have it open from the right. The numbered markings, it kind of makes it feel like it has to open from left to right. Simple stitching here to separate these two sections for the cards. The edges, you can see how they slide that panel in there too. In terms of details, craftsmanship, how they kind of approach it, it's really satisfying to see and appreciate. Let's actually set them all up inside. My passport slides in there. I like the angled cut. You can even drop in, say, your business card here. And I'm going to add a few of my cards. And that's the inside. And then finally, we have these one, two, three wrist straps. The top one is a snowflake leather. It's kind of got a distressed look to it. And this is in a navy. Next to it, we've got the full grain pebbled leather like the 159 and the 133. So if you want a matching look, you can go for it. And you can see the slight difference in the textures and the, the colors. They got the same great metal hardware like on the padded and the basic 25 mm shoulder straps you get a few ways that you can attach this and it is universal these eyelet holes and you can loop this with anything and it comes with a universal attachment to put on any phone case so for me i've got my nothing phone too and i've already got the grams 28 universal like phone loop attached it sandwiches in between your phone case and your phone and then it comes out towards the bottom of the USB-C charging port that gives you a nice loop so you can just tether these together adds a nice accessory detail I like to move this between the gear like the camera my phone and also the case and it just adds an extra tether loop leather band is a decent size so it's going to hold on your arm and sometimes I do like to hold it and then when I finish, either I can just lay it down and know it's not going to drop out or I just have this exposed in my pocket. I've got my FX30. You can just thread it through the camera body's like loop or in your camera cage. That will have this little hole and then you can just attach this so you have like a nice tether for your camera body. And if you prefer to carry the 133 on its own, then you can just attach the wrist strap to the D-ring instead of the shoulder strap. You can have this pretty much clipped to just about anything. Now we get to the exciting part where we can finally gear load this all up and give you an idea how it packs. So we'll start with the Folio Pro. Of course, gonna have to add a laptop. This is my 14 inch Asus ROG and that slides in perfectly. This will definitely fit a 15 inch, maybe a 16, but for my laptop, it sits perfectly fine. Throw in a business card just behind this leather panel. We can take the wallet and that will sit comfortably here. Thread that on the more tighter vertical drop pocket. If you have a small Apple AirTag, it will fit just underneath. Also going to check in at my Nothing Phone 2, which will sit just here. And then we've also got another vertical drop pocket. I'm just going to throw the one, two, three wrist strap in here, put the metal hardware down. We still have plenty of space down the middle. Throw in like your laptop charger, a few cables. When it comes to the back, my iPad mini. And it's nicely flat packed and comfortably closes. 
For the front admin panel, travel mouse, I can also slide that in. Better access can chuck my phone in the front, just like that. My wireless earbuds can sit next to the phone. Get one of my hard drives, all in this very slim 159 Folio Pro. Looks pretty epic. Next up, we've got the 133 Essential Case Max. Got the two dividers. We've got my Sony FX30, cinema line body. One of my camera straps. Currently using my Sony 20mm f1.8 G lens. That can easily fit inside the middle. Also a 35, a 50 millimeter f1.4 GM. All of those sort of prime lenses, they will all fit inside here. My Sony 7200 f2.8 GM2 fits in here as well. You have to take out the dividers. This big BMW that I do love shooting with, but don't necessarily want to always carry a big bag. Place it in and you've got a swish carry for your telephoto lens. And that literally fits in perfectly. So while you can't really fit anything else in here, in that main body, you can stack on top. Would love to see a padding or divider that kind of folds in or creates a layer, but you can sort of create a shelf. I can still have my camera strap stacked on top of the telephoto lens, iPad mini six. That is a fully loaded 133. Some lens cleaners, camera batteries. Normally I would put it in the extra divided section, but you can throw it just behind the iPad mini six with those stretchy pockets. Things start to get compressed. You can still close it like this, but it's a bit more on the thicker side. So it's nice that it's got double zippers. Now probably place that on the side so it doesn't get away of the top handle. Awesome camera cube that you can just sling around in this hand tether. Drop inside a backpack as a very nicely padded and fashionable camera cube. Have it as our crossbody for day shooting. And I can sling towards the front or the back. So there you have it. That was a first look at Grams 28, 159 Folio Pro, 133 Essential Case Max, 126 Passport Wallets, and the 123 Wrist Strap. You can find more of my full written thoughts and deep dives in each of these. So check it out on my website at onetechtraveler.com. If you think any of these are right for you or you want to explore the rest of Grams 28's range, then I'll be putting the links down below where you can support the channel. Click through in the video description and in the pinned comments. And uh, if you end up picking something up, let me know. I'd love to hear what you ended up choosing. Thanks a lot, Tim KBA. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep being awesome. Peace.